In today's episode, we are talking about coffee, specifically hotel room coffee. Almost every business traveler has had the same complaints about hotel room coffee. It's coffee-colored water. It's bitter, it's weak, it's tasteless, doesn't taste it's just awful stuff. Yet, when we travel, uh, we, we, we have to sometimes use it because... You know, maybe the hotel coffee shop isn't open yet, uh, which happens to me a lot on the West Coast. So how do you make hotel room coffee? How do you make the best of a not great situation? It comes from understanding chemistry. Consider the process of what it goes into making coffee. Right? It, coffee is cooking. It is water, it is heat, and it is an ingredient. <clears throat> the packets of hotel room coffee aren't inherently bad themselves, right? Uh, the two enemies of coffee... Uh, air, oxygen, and light are, are sealed out of those little packets, so so they're okay. Um, but you need those three factors. You need time, you need hot, hot water, and you need a sufficient amount of coffee grinds to make a good cup of coffee. And the reason that hotel room coffee is terrible is because those little devices in the hotel rooms uh, fail pretty much at all three. So let's talk about how to make better hotel room coffee. First, let's talk about the grinds, the coffee grounds. If you brew coffee with too much water, you over-extract it. In every coffee bean, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. There's stuff that tastes great and there's stuff that's a little on the bitter side. If you look at major devices like an AeroPress, for example, they put, have you put a lot of coffee uh, in, the, in the coffee grinds. If you look at <clears throat> uh, what's on the can of a, uh, of a regular cup of coffee, it says, you know, put in two tablespoons per six ounces of water. That is a lot of coffee. Why? Because... You want enough water to extract the good stuff, but then get saturated so that there's not enough water to extract the bitter stuff, the bad stuff. Coffee makers in hotel rooms, those little packets, there's not enough coffee in those. So what you need is you need more than one. So in the in the hotel coffee room maker, you can put uh, some of them, you can put two packets in, especially those little pod thingies, or you can put uh, a second pod in the bottom of your cup like a tea bag almost, uh, and, and do the extraction that way. So you need to ask the front desk for extra packets. Um, if they won't give you one for some reason, then open up the decaf packet that's typically in the room and put that in either in the, in the brewer or in the bottom of the cup, and that will get you enough coffee compounds in your extraction in the water that you will get a decent cup of coffee that way. Second is time. What do we expect out of our coffee uh, machines, right? We expect that they'll just go and, and make us a fast cup of coffee. I've timed hotel room coffee makers because that's just something I do. <laughs> and they're 30 to 60 seconds to make a cup of coffee. How long should a, cu a cup of coffee brew? Depending on the ground, anywhere from three to five minutes. Uh, if you look at, again, something like an AeroPress or a, a Chemex or any of the the, the really fancy brewing methods, pour overs, you're talking a three to five minute cup of coffee. So again, I would say you, the easiest way to remedy that is after it's gone through the machine, put that those coffee packets into the cup of coffee and let them steep like a tea bag. Let them do their thing and then use like, you know, the stirrers or like a plastic fork that uh, you happen to have around uh, and, and use that to extract the, the, the tea bag, the coffee bags out of the coffee and you'll get a better tasting cup of coffee that way. The third thing is the water temperature. Coffee extracts best between 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, around 93 degrees Celsius. At that temperature, you get everything out of the coffee that you want to get out. Those little hotel room coffee makers, they will raise the temperature of water by about 100 or so degrees. So they'll kick it up about 37 Celsius. If you follow the directions on those coffee makers, they always say, you know, add cold water to this thing. I don't know why they say that, but it says add cold water. So when you get water out of the tap, you're talking probably anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on where you where you are but most of the time it's around 70 degrees fahrenheit 21 celsius what happens kick that up 100 degrees and you're at 170 fahrenheit that's not enough right so what you do is turn the hotel room hot water tap on all the way you'll get water that's between 110 120 degrees fahrenheit that's enough then that when you put the hot water in the coffee maker, you will get it to the requisite temperature. And that will get you a decent cup of coffee. That will get you a good extraction because it's the right temperature. So that's the best way to get a 
decent cup of coffee out of hotel room coffee maker. One other thing, carry around um, those little salt packets that you can get at like fast food restaurants because if a coffee ground is not especially good and if it's a little bitter, adding a pinch of salt to a cup of coffee after brewing uh, changes the chemistry of it. Yeah, it changes what your tongue can perceive. Salt, sodium ions partially block the neurotransmitters that detect bitterness. So you add that pinch of salt in and you can slightly improve uh, a, a really bad coffee. And finally, there are some places that you don't get a coffee maker in your room. Las Vegas is most well known for this because they want you on the casino floor and they want you spending nine bucks for a cup of coffee. I personally think that's insulting to civilized life so what i would suggest doing is carrying around your own instant coffee i use a brand uh i discovered in the uk called Douay egberts um it's not great but it's not bad it is good enough coffee for if you don't want to spend the nine bucks for the the cup of coffee in vegas or again if if you're an east coast traveler and you're waking up and it's 3 a.m and and the nine dollar coffee stand isn't open yet uh, a good instant coffee will be good enough to get you through. Um, this brand is, uh, the, uh, like I said, I discovered it in the UK. Um, I take it and put it in the little film canisters so that it's it's portable, single serving. Uh, if you go to pl- civilized places like the like Europe, uh, there's tea kettles in the room that can that can give you some nice hot water. Otherwise, you can use hot tap water and make an okay enough cup of coffee to get you through until. You're ready to have uh, the $9 cup of coffee in the coffee stand. But that's hotel room coffee. That's how to make it better. Uh, It will still never be amazing. It will still never be terrific. It will be good enough. But good enough is better than awful. So, as always, if you have comments, please leave them below. Please take the time, if you can, to subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter. I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.